It's four days until Christmas, and it's 3 p.m. This is the third time Stone's woken up today. You're really only supposed to do that once, you know, like in the morning. Of course there's exceptions, narcoleptics, late night shenanigans, night shift workers? Oh, and children, excited for the arrival of Santa. Of course, Stone was, as we all know, depressed. Not even the holidays could lift his spirits. In fact, the unusual lack of snow and the ever shorter days were probably crushing his spirits, if anything. Stone was tired of this never-ending feeling. When would it end? He wishes he just knew. Just five more days and things would be back to normal. But this time was different. Stone didn't want to admit it, but seeing Jasmine and Noah work it out had really given him a feeling so deep down in his stomach he'd forgotten what it felt like. Hope, that is. You'd think hope would be easier than despair, but it turns out, deep down, accepting the possibility that everything will in fact work out is just as difficult as accepting that it won't. Funny old creatures, humans. They can never seem to get it right. But, ow! Perhaps I, or should I say, you, Stone, touched a nerve. Sorry. Busy, at work, at school, busy. No, I can't. It was three days until Christmas, and Stone found himself in a need of a connection. Perhaps good things would come out of this. Stone? Andrea. Hey. Uh, hi. Hey. You know, I've been hoping to run into you for a long time. No offense, but why? I wanted to say thank you. I know this may seem random, but I think what you said to me really helped me. Oh. I know I said some things. I know I was mean. I was pretty intense too. That's the thing, you weren't. I wasn't a good partner, I admit that. I think I thought I was the only person who could help him, and inside that made me feel whole. Yeah, but what you were doing wasn't right. I see that now, and I saw it then. Things were changing, and I wanted to hold on to them, even if it hurt me, and others. Look, I'm not asking for forgiveness or penance, okay? I'm just trying... Can I uh, sit down? Sure. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to say that you confronting me that day gave me the words I needed to hear, you know? It helped me let go of it. Let go of Finn, of myself. And has that worked out for you? Well, it was bad for a while, but then 
it got worse and then it got better. And now it's good? No, but it was better than it was yesterday. I understand that. I'm also working on letting things go. I was very eager to build a box around it, to somehow cage the disappointment and loneliness and underwhelmingness of it all. But I realized, you know, that not wallowing in it was not the noble thing to do. I understand. I still feel like that too sometimes. Really? Yeah. Well, I realize still that I was wrong, is what I'm trying to say. Finn and I. Look, I, I don't talk to Finn anymore. We don't speak. The past is the past, and I respect that. That's very mature of you. Well, I realized that I could wallow in it, and I could try to feel it and work through it. And I realized that as I got comfortable with it, the past kind of came and went, and I let it, you know, like a ghost. It's kind of poetic. Oh, I'm no writer like you. You don't have to put yourself down. I'm not. I know what I am. I, I definitely know what I'm not. Well, that's, that's good. I don't, I'm still figuring that stuff out myself. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you really helped me and I thought about a conversation a lot, ran over over my head and I think I need to hear that. I'm trying to carry it all with me now and maybe now I can carry some of you with me as well. Yeah. Thank you. Lastly, I just wanted to say thank you and I'm sorry. All right, I should go now, but you take care, okay? You too. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. That was weird. It was two days until Christmas and Stone- Stop narrating. I think you get the vibe. Stone tossed and turned on these cold wintry nights, wondering how to warm his icy heart. Icy heart? Your thoughts, man. And your words, I don't need a monologue. Who is that? It's 12 p.m. Do they not know who I am? Maybe it's a Christmas present. Yeah, sure. Sorry, hi, hi. Sorry, I was just getting ready. Hey, Stone. Long time no see. Kelly, um, you're here to see me? Oh no. Well, it's in here for sure. Get to pick it up. Oh, well, come right in. She must like you, you know. She doesn't let anyone in her room. Uh, me has a suit, We know each other long enough. She had a zoom in you. She needed something a little bit more girl boss. I was not letting her look average in my presence. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what you do. It's pretty impressive. No. Kelly Lowe, wardrobe assistant, Marilyn News. It's great that you've, you know, made it in your art, I mean. That's funny. That you think that I made it? You don't? Stone. I do weekends as a part-time wardrobe assistant, and in the past three weeks, I've been requested to ask to find a festive jacket. That's still an achievement. 
It's not about the achievement. When people look good, they feel good. And I feel it too. That's the point. Yeah. Look, I didn't really need this. Well, I did, but not three days before Christmas. Came to see you mostly. Oh, I see. Sarah asked you to check up on me. Well, I don't doubt that she would have asked me to. No, that's not what happened. Oh, then did you want me to write something that you could costume or? No, you're beyond greater use than creative collaboration style, okay? Oh, uh, I guess, yeah, but I'm just confused. You're a very introspective person, Snow. I can see the cog spinning behind your eyes. Thanks. Um, I think my cogs are broken. God, you and this family are full of analogies. I mean, Sarah did say you were a creative person. She's close to me and she's close to you, so it makes us friends. Friends? That's the word. But you don't really know me. And you don't know me. i like to change that. Would you? Yes, I would. Great. So, coffee? Tomorrow? What, like immediately? Well, no better time than the present. But it's Christmas Eve. Do you have other plans? You know I don't. Well, then we're on. We'll work on it, yeah. Is there anything else? Uh... No? Great! See you tomorrow! I should have mentioned I don't like coffee. <laughs>